Hi guys, this is another video on Windows software. This time it's going to be Firefox and optimizing and configuring it. In my previous video, I neglected to mention that how I managed to get Google and YouTube to be black. I'll mention that towards the end of this video. Um, I thought I'd show you exactly everything basically I've got in Firefox. Uh, and I've, I'm doing it from a clean setup, so let's begin. Run. We're extracting the files. Next. I agree. Next. Standard. Next. So now it's installing Firefox. I uninstalled it previously and deleted all my settings, so what you see now will be a clean install of Firefox. If you don't have Firefox, I'll provide the link to download it, because it's a very, very good browser in terms of once it's optimized it, it can run make your internet, exper internet experience a lot better so let's begin by optimizing well firstly I'm going to go for the interface um, if you right click here uh, in this area click customize uh, to give yourself more space to uh, to do your work or do view websites you just drag you can drag these icons uh, so what I do is I drag them all to the top, that one to the top, and that one to the top, drag the address bar to the top, the Google bar to the top, and then you're left with an empty bar. You can actually get rid of that by getting rid of the navigation toolbar. Uh, you're then left with a bookmark toolbar, bookmarks toolbar item where you can then put one-click access to your toolbars. You see these icons are massive, you just say use small icons click done and there you have let me stretch this out a bit there you have everything along this top line which is very handy uh, there's an extension that you can get for, oh, um, this bookmarks toolbar uh, basically if I delete these this is RSS headlines you can get rid of these I, I tend to if you have like for example uh, Yuzu if you visit YouTube a lot uh, you think brilliant? Yeah, I want to. I want to be able to not have to keep typing in YouTube every day. You just click this, drag it, and put it onto this bar. And right-click it, go to properties, type in YouTube. And now, when you click it, you will go onto YouTube. If I go to the home page and click YouTube again, you can see I'm now onto YouTube, which is very handy. Um, what else is there? Oh yes, this menu bar really makes this shift along quite a bit. So there is an extension for Firefox called Tiny Menu. Always open it from the add-ons.mozilla.org site because it's a lot easier to install. You don't have to worry about um, it. Kind of pops up with a warning if you don't have if you don't install it from their official site. So it's easier just to do it. So you say install now, restart start again and there you see you've just got the menu there and it'll sc scroll down so then you've got much more space to view your websites uh, other I've got a list of add-ons here uh, adblock plus we can install that now adblock plus basically blocks ads annoying irritating ads that people put at the top of their sites to try and make some money um, it doesn't I went to the wrong site didn't I uh, add-ons bottom as well um, Basically, people don't like you doing this because the webmasters create their websites and you make money, and th th they make money from doing it. But to me, it's just an annoyance, and I'm only one person, so I'm sure it doesn't make that much of a difference. So you choose a list. What it'll do is it'll download a list to your computer of ads um, where you can locate ads, and it will block them their addresses from so you don't get these ads downloaded to your computer. So you just click subs subscribe and then you should be ad free. Uh, status bar. Status bar is very good when you need to download files, lots of files, um, lots of the add-ons. Basically, you see in the screenshot, it just puts it at the bottom of the screen and you don't have to worry about extra things popping up. An extra download box popping up like this does with the add-ons. It will just stay in your browser and you can continue browsing while it's downloading. Um, let's close that. 
another one is flash block I tend to use I used to use this when I was on dial up because things like YouTube videos would start automatically uh, but it's also useful for if ads manage to get through the ad block software uh, this will lock it as well or if you don't want videos auto playing you can download this and what it will do I'll give you an example of just randomly go on YouTube youtube.com uh, click a random video it basically puts the play button here so you don't have to start it straight away uh, another one is faster fox faster fox is supposed to be tweaks for firefox which make it faster uh, I just use it for the counter in the corner to see how long page times are and see if I can find sites that load faster so that's now installed it will put yes a counter down here showing you how long it takes for things to load uh, download them all uh, down them all uh, allows you to download things like uh, images or zip files if there's loads of zip files on a web page you can just download them all at once wait for that to install that's now done so you just right click on a page once it's downloaded and download them all it'll download all the links or whatever and 